Wolfgang is wide awake as surgeons carefully drill through his skull and then insert electrodes into his brain. It's the only way of knowing they've reached the right place. He's been paralysed below the waist since a skiing accident in 2006. Unable to move his legs, he shuffles downstairs on his bottom and uses a wheelchair. But when the electrodes are switched on, there is a remarkable transformation. Signals from the brain are able to pass through the damage in his spinal cord and help him walk. If I want, I, I can a little bit walk or uh, go to the uh, steps upstairs and downstairs. And, and if I need something in the kitchen uh, where I have to stand up, I can do it. In future, I think we don't need a, a wheelchair again. It's a long way, but I think it, it, the dream comes true. Research using artificial intelligence found that a part of the brain called the lateral hypothalamus, previously thought to control arousal and motivation, also had a role in walking. Surgeons inserted electrodes to stimulate neurons in the region with tiny electrical impulses. This reactivated nerve fibres in the spinal cord that hadn't been damaged by the accident, allowing the brain to regain some control of the leg muscles. Our interpretation is that this small region is actually talking to all the key regions of the brain that can regain access to the spinal cord. So it's some kind of amplificator of the intention to walk. The technique was tested in rats and mice, but two human patients have had surgery now, and even while they were still on the operating table, there were hopeful signs. When you switch on the stimulator, the patient says, I feel my legs. So this was, of course, a kind of relief, and she said, I feel the urge to walk. The other patient, who hasn't been named, could only walk with a harness before the operation. Now she can support herself. It's early days for the technology, but it's already helping patients who were told they would never walk again. Thomas Moore, Sky News.